Here are three spiritual truths that will cause you to wake up. And fair warning, once you hear these, your life is never going to be the same. Number one, you are not your name, your job, your gender, your relationship status, your age. Who you are at your very core is the awareness behind all of those labels, judgments, and stories that we create in this experience of life. You are at your very core, the universe experiencing itself. Number two, everybody that has ever hurt you, betrayed you, belittled you, or insulted you was doing the best they could with the resources that they had. Now that doesn't mean that what they did was okay, but what happened happened. And all you can do now is all you can do now. So the big question is, what will you do now with the pain that they caused you? Because if we were to get bitten by a snake, it would not be the bite that brings us to our end. It's the venom that is toxic. And so many of us carry around venom from things that happened five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago in the form of bitterness, resentment, anger, and hatred. But what we're doing by holding on to that is just continuing to do damage to ourselves. So the key to getting the venom out is by forgiving. And the only way to forgive is to recognize that they were doing the best they could with what they knew in their head, the limited resources that they had. And if you remember anything from this, remember this. Don't forgive them for them. Forgive them for you because you deserve to be free. And number three, when you zoom out and you look at the big picture, we are all human beings on a rock that is spinning through space and we're trying to figure this thing called life out. And the thing that separates human beings from every known animal on this planet is that we create meaning. From the beginning of time, we evolved as storytellers and meaning makers. And the meaning that you create around your life can either be the key to your freedom or the lock to a prison. You can either choose to live your life at the effect having other people write your story or you can pick up the pen and start writing your own. And in that story, you can either be the victim of your story or you can be the victor of your story. The pen is in your hand and the story that you create about you and your life is up to you.